I already told the customer, I have to take a ton of this wall out and I know exactly what someone's gonna say. Why did you cut that spot so big? It didn't need to be that big. What do you need so much room for? I don't know if you saw this, but whenever I started cutting the wall, the first thing I found was electrical wires, both new and old. There's knob and tube literally right behind this faucet. The water lines come up from the right side and they 90 directly over. So I'm gonna try to replace as much of this as I can because we're probably gonna have just a smaller access panel behind here. So I want everything to be new. Since it is such tight quarters, I am not going to do any pro pressing. I'm going to solder this whole thing. As much as I love the pro press, I don't think it's applicable in situations like this. Like you want to be able to unsweat a 90 if it goes bad because you only have one chance with it if you press it. I like to do as much prep work as I can outside of the space that I'm working. It just makes everything a little bit easier. You can measure things a lot more properly and everything just looks a lot nicer. And sometimes you get lucky, you measure everything right and everything just fits perfectly in. Like watch this. That is professional. I have figured out how to use a tape measure. Now we're going to get a little unprofessional here and i'm going to put more solder in this elbow than absolutely necessary because i don't want it to leak these joints are all going to be behind an access panel so the ones that you can't see i'm going to just over solder them completely once everything's soldered in we could start building the faucet from the front with plumber's putty behind every discussion and tub spout and here's the finished result water's back on new shower faucet in good to go